Hello, I'm Jennifer and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. One of the perks of being published by Simon & Schuster is that I get to check out some of their hot upcoming books and I get to share them with you. They are all um, in line with what we daily connoisseurs tend to like, so I'm really excited. All right, here we go. A Place at the Table by Susan Rebecca White. Okay, so the tagline for this book is Three outcasts longing for home come together at Manhattan's Café Andres, a chic gathering place for New York's cultural Illuminati. I mean, how amazing does that sound? And so many people have tweeted me saying that they absolutely love this book, so I cannot wait to read this by Susan Rebecca White. The next two books are by Santa Montefiore, and they look right up my alley. This one is called The Summer House. And this one is called Secrets of the Lighthouse. I just have to read the description of the summer house because it, it sounds so good. It says, when Lord Frampton dies in a skiing accident, a beautiful young woman named Phaedra appears at his funeral, claiming to be the Lord's illegitimate daughter. In his will, Lord Frampton has left the priceless Frampton suite of sapphires to this interloper, confirming her claim and outraging his three adult sons and widow. And then it goes on to talk about a love story that happens between Phaedra and the eldest son of Lord Frampton, which is scandalous, right? So this book, The Summer House, sounds so divine. Um, and in Secrets of the Lighthouse, the tagline for Secrets of the Lighthouse says, Set in Ireland on the wild coast of Connemara, this hauntingly romantic novel tells the story of a young woman who goes in search of her family's past and ends up discovering her future. I love anything to do with lighthouses. I'm kind of obsessed with lighthouses, so I'm really excited to see what The Secrets of the Lighthouse is all about. Okay, so in the advanced reader copy for Secrets of the Lighthouse, my editor, Trish Todd, who also edited this book, writes that Santa Montefiore's stories are set in beautiful locations like the English countryside, Italy, and France, and the characters are sophisticated and often wealthy. Above all, her books are romantic and her message is consistent. Love is the most important thing in life. And I just love that. I love beautiful, glamorous settings with interesting characters. Um, so I'm really looking forward to reading both of these books. Ah, I am so excited for this one. You guys know that I loved Elizabeth Fremantle's book, Queen's Gambit, which I reviewed um, last year and we did a giveaway for it on The Daily Connoisseur. And this is her follow-up book called Sisters of Treason. And the tagline for this book is, two sisters tread dangerously close to the throne after their sister, the deposed queen, Lady Jane Grey, is executed. And yes, this takes place again in Tudor, England, where the treacherous court is terrifying for these women because they are just being executed left and right. Um, I really enjoyed Queen's Gambit. And this one is about Lady Catherine and Lady Mary who are reeling after the brutal execution of their elder sister, Lady Jane Grey. Their Tudor blood is now more a curse than a blessing. Some say the Grey sisters have a better claim to the throne than Queen Mary. For either girl to marry without royal permission could be a fatal political act, perceived as a treasonous grab for the throne. Whew. Okay, so this one's probably going to be very suspenseful like Queen's Gambit was, and I can't wait to read it. Check it out, Elizabeth Fremantle. If you love historical fiction, you will love her books. The final book they sent to me is Delancey by Molly Weisenberg, and she's a New York Times best-selling author. She's also the blogger for Orangette, which was named the best food blog in the world. And this book is a memoir, and it's about, it says, a man, a woman, a restaurant, a marriage. And how interesting could that be? It is about how her and her husband started up this restaurant, Delancey, and about their journey along the way. And this is a best-selling book. It's gotten excellent reviews, and it has recipes in there as well, along with pictures. And I've already started reading it, and it's very, very funny. People tell me wonderful things about Delancey, so I'm excited to add this to my summer reading list as well. Thank you so much to Simon & Schuster for sending us these books that are tailor-made to our interests. Thank you for joining me on The Daily Connoisseur. I'll see you soon.